the main thing is transparency. Companies should be more transparent about their tax dealings worldwide and it will, I think, allow tax authorities who think that they are harmed by aggressive tax planning, they will have more information now available to them and they can potentially uh, attack more efficiently uh, aggressive tax planning by multinational companies. Switzerland has become more transparent with its corporate tax dealings. What can you tell us about this development? Yeah, guys, this week uh, the Swiss Federal Council made two important decisions to implement more transparency regarding uh, corporate multinationals present uh, in Switzerland. The first decision relates to tax rulings, so tax rulings that companies are concluding with Swiss tax authorities will um, not become public but will be exchanged automatically as of 2018 with other countries that may be implicated by these tax rulings. So that's a very important transparency initiative. And the second measure decided to this week by the Swiss Federal Council relates to what we call country by country reporting. So Swiss based or Swiss headquartered multinational companies will have to make substantial reports every year to the Swiss tax authorities about their dealings in other countries. How much profit do they earn in other countries? How many people do they have there? How much tax do they pay there? And that information will be exchanged by the Swiss federal tax authorities to the foreign tax authorities. So can you explain some of these measures in greater detail for us, please? So this, this, this basically means that any company in Switzerland that has a tax ruling which will still be in force in 2018, that ruling will be uh, sent to the parent company uh, jurisdiction and to other jurisdictions potentially involved. And this means, uh, this is a great transparency uh, coming in. And the other tax authorities in those other countries potentially affected by those rulings can have a look at it. What is the Swiss company doing? What is the Swiss company, how is the Swiss company being taxed? And if they don't like it, they may be able to attack this. And on the, the country by country reporting side, something similar is happening. Um, it will be completely visible to other tax authorities and other jurisdictions what the, the company is doing on a global basis and how is it reporting profits on a global basis. And again, if they see something they don't like, this will provide them great means to attack uh, behavior they don't like. So do you think this is the correct and an effective way of dealing with this issue? I think it is a correct uh, way of dealing with this issue and it's, it's a very important spearhead of the OECD policies which are being implemented worldwide now and th the main thing is transparency. Companies should be more transparent about their tax dealings worldwide and it will, I think, allow tax authorities who think that they are harmed by aggressive tax planning, they will have more information now available to them and they can potentially uh, attack more efficiently uh, aggressive tax planning by multinational companies. I'm not saying that um, aggressive tax planning will now be out of the door, but it will be much more difficult for companies to do it in a non-transparent manner, and it will be, on the other hand, easier for tax authorities who think that they have some damage to attack the behavior. So it, these are very important measures, I think. Well, thank you so much, Cherry, for speaking with us today. It's been a pleasure. Thank you for having me, guys. And thank you at home for watching. Don't forget you can catch previous interviews by clicking on our YouTube channel. Goodbye for now.